welcome back to my channel so today I am going to try and conquer a recipe from all recipes a YouTube channel for banana muffins um, I had this one really really white banana and I'm like oh my god I cannot eat it like this I have to use it for something so I came up with uh, found this particular recipe and I'm like well I'm gonna have to reduce the size because I don't have three bananas so I hope this works so this is gonna be you know a conquer not only in conquering the recipe the original recipe but conquering getting half of the ingredients and making sure that um, you know I reduce the ingredients enough to be able to uh, make some edible banana muffins and I'm going to be adding chocolate chips and depending on how many muffins I, you know, can make from this, you know, ingredient breakdown that I've done, um, I'm going to try to attempt to make six and put in here, um, but let's see. But I'll also try to do walnut ones. I have some walnuts and I have some chocolate chips and I would like to try both. So, all right, this is a dry mix and in this dry mix, I put half a cup of all-purpose flour as well as a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. That was what I reduced the original recipe to to be able to hopefully match me only having one big banana. Okay, so, and I also put half a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. So, Mix all that really nicely here. I'm using this cute little tiny whisk. Is it adorable? Oh my gosh. I got this as a part of a, a Christmas gift basket. <laughs> so, I kept it for everything. Alright. I think I got that good. So, on to the wet ingredients big bowl here. Alright, so it was melted butter and I reduced it. It was supposed to be one third cup of melted butter. I looked up on Google, Google and that ended up being two teaspoons, I believe, and two tablespoons. Anyway, melted butter. Alright, so that's that there. Make sure I get all of that butter. I microwaved it for like 15 seconds and then I put it to cool in the refrigerator a little bit. Alright, so I think I got all of the butter that I possibly can in there. And then next, I'm supposed to be combining the banana, the sugar, eggs, and the butter. So Reduced down to one egg. That one was an easy one. Uh, basically half of all the ingredients here. So they made, I believe it was like 24 muffins or 12 muffins. I don't even remember. But anyways, I reduced the to half. So hopefully I can get six. That is the goal to conquer. Okay. And so I got one egg, the melted butter, the sugar, reduced down to six tablespoons of sugar. So one, two, three, four, five, so five. I think there's enough actually. And six. So let me just do the rest of it. I do have another one, but it looks like this was exactly what I needed. Interesting. Okay, great. That's the sugar and of course my banana. Alright, so it's supposed to be. I don't know if I should have mashed it prior. I guess it doesn't matter, but whatever. Look how ripe this thing is. It's like, I cannot even imagine eating that like, um, like regular. Yeah. And anyways, good for baking. So combine banana, sugars, egg, and butter. That is this. 
Um, I did see another recipe that said don't be afraid to leave little chunks of bananas because you'll just get like little chunks of, you know, banana goodness within your muffin. And I kind of like that. So it's a little bit, I don't know if you can see that, still a little bit banana chunks in there. I think I'm going to go wild here and just let them, let them be. Mm -hmm. Not too many though, but I can see if that works for me. Alright, so we have that mixture there. I think that's a pretty good, nicely mixed. And what's next? I've already buttered my little, um, see this, I don't know, it's rubber, I don't know what it is, but it's definitely a baking thing. Alright, so fold in flour mix and then mix all of it together until smooth. Okay. Sometimes I notice that when I um, do it but in the bottom, it's like it doesn't get like fully even though I'm like scraping here, but if I do it this way, I'm assuming it gets nicely mixed in as well. An extra mix of these dry ingredients. There we go. Anyway. Um, fold in flour, mix until smooth, and then let's see, scoop into muffin pans and then bake in your preheated oven for 25 minutes. Okay. Oh, they said fold in. supposed to put one egg. I think it was supposed to be half the egg. Oh well, it's a little too late for that. <laughs> I literally just remember that. It sucks. But anyways, let's see if this works. nice and smooth. The oven is almost done being preheated. Alright, so now I'll scoop into muffin pan. I really hope this works. Oh my gosh. Just remembered the chocolate chips. I'm like <laughs> the chocolate chips and the walnuts. You know, I'm super experimenting today. All right, so let me see. Um, I'm gonna have enough here for six. It's looking like it. That, um, mm -hmm. and there's still a little bit in there, but I'm going to put some chocolate chips in three of them. I'm using semi-sweet chocolate morsels here. All right. And then some chopped walnuts. And it was part of their recipe. They said you can all, it's like, it was straight for banana muffin recipe. That's probably why I didn't write down this part of it. But it does state as something that you can do to, you know, jazz up your recipe is to add either, um, you know, chocolate morsels or um, walnuts, which is exactly what I wanted to do. <laughs> so, all right. Let's 
see if I can okay, let's see here. I'll drop it off with another scoop here. I don't know, I have a feeling this is gonna work. scraping the heck out of this bowl and get the rest on it. Alright, there you go, you see? Scrape that bowl, you will be rewarded. <laughs> Oven is ready, 350 for 25 minutes. I feel like, let me just, this one nasty, hold on. There we go. And it's gonna get all baked in there and hard to clean. Like, no thank you. Yeah, I'm mixing my little walnuts in there so it can be nicely distributed. before it's done I'm gonna go back in and just kind of sprinkle a little bit more chocolate chips on the top and walnuts on the top so I can have that you know that pretty look that was a tip I also learned from searching actually for cookie recipes but I'm sure it'll work for that too all right so okay so they've been uh, in the oven for about 15 minutes I took them out so I can um, top them off with um, some chocolate chips and a little bit more walnuts but so far so good like look at them They've def definitely rised. They're cooking. They smell very banana-y. Uh, they look good. I can't wait. All right, so the chocolate chips are already melting, so I don't know how that's going to work, but um, that was a tip. But mostly a tip for chocolate chip cookies, so I don't know if it's going to work for the muffins, but I wanted to try anyways. Look at them. They are finished. Look at that. It looks absolutely delish i know you can tell <laughs> i was forcing those um walnuts in there but either way they look super yummy so so far it looks like a conquer i just have to find out how they taste like and i'm gonna let them cool down a bit before i dig in let me show you how easily they just come out of here like look at that just pop it in the bottom and boom these things right here this little rubbery stuff is absolutely fantastic I feel like I'm advertising, and I'm not really, I'm just literally showing you my appreciation for some of my kitchen tools that I've learned to really love. They're fantastic. Oh my god, they smell so good. Alright, so look at these babies. Okay, they're nice and strained, so they're definitely uh, done. Okay, and then I learned that um, the right time to put the toppers on there so they can really look like good, you know, pretty, with a little, you know, like that, is to put it in once you see it that the, you know, the um, it has risen, you know, at least by like a quarter or like you know what i'm saying it's risen and the top is still a little bit liquidy i've come to find out that was like the perfect time to put them on so it can like be nicely embedded within the top and i had a feeling too i was looking I'm like yeah it's time but i told myself 15 minutes and i didn't listen to my intuition but i really feel like that was the perfect time but anyways let me go ahead and pipe into it so you can see how it is i think i'm going to go with a I'm gonna go with a chocolate chip. Yeah. Look 
look at that. Definitely nicely cooked there. You can even see that little chunk right there. I don't know if you can like see that, but it's kind of that's a banana piece. You know how I left those little chunks? Oh my gosh, let me try. Hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Oh, chocolate chip went flying out. Anyway, I got it. Wow. That's tasty. Mm-hmm. This is a conquer, guys. And this is one of the most challenging ones in a sense because I have to, um, you know, rework, um, you know, reduce the recipe ingredients to half, and it worked out amazingly. Fantastic. Conquer. Oops, chocolate. <laughs> All right. And this was um, all recipe channel. So thank you for this wonderful recipe.